Okay, hi. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to draw in paint. But, uh, sure I'm, I'm not, I'm not syncing with the audio, so you're going to have to skip back and forth quite a bit because uh, I don't even want to explain why. But this is, this is just a uh, a way of learning how to draw. It's not going to help you. It's it's not it's not it's not a solution. But uh, after doing this a couple of times, I find that it's a lot easier to draw. So what you want to do, you want to uh, open a picture you want to you want to draw or have in a in a kind of like arty style, paint style. Alright. Yeah, you want to have that, and then you want to save it as a as a 16-bit bitmap. Uh, so save as on 16-bit. You can see that on the video way before, so you're gonna have to skip backwards if you missed that. Um, what's that what, what that's gonna do is it's gonna change all the colors into it's it's gonna convert everything into only 16 colors. So then you have a base image, and it'll end up looking like as you can see now, lots of greys, quite a lot of purples and reds. It generally depends on the image you're trying to do, but darker image, darker colours you'll get. Um, what I'm doing to to change the colours is I'm using the Rivers right click tool, and if you don't know about that, that's uh, you use your secondary colour. That, that's the colour you're changing it to, and your primary colour is the colour that, that you've got selected. Is the, is the colour that you want to change. So you'll be able to see that I'm sort of going through here and I'm changing things to the right thing. I'm probably going to do another tutorial on how to choose the right, uh, how to choose colours because that's a bit tricky. But I mean, I, I'm going to assume that you've got some experience drawing or some experience in basically anything really. It's not the hardest thing to do this, but it's a quick way to draw, and you'll notice I'm rushing through. This is the fast forward, by the way, so in my voice, but the video has. So it's not obviously I, I wasn't working this fast. I'm not some kind of genius, but it's like I say, it's not the best way to draw. But once you once you once you've sort of done this with a few images, you'll be able to do it do it without without using this technique. But this is something that I came up with myself. This is as far as I know, no one else uh, draws like this or or converts images, should I say. It's, it's not drawing like the other videos. This is just people ask me how I draw and this is how I learn. So some of my first drawings will have been done in this way and um, this really helps you sort of sort of kind of get get how to draw people using this kind of style. Get, get that nailed down. Now you're going to want to you're going to want to learn how to use the right click function with rubber first. Um, this this unsyncing audio isn't really working out for me, but I don't want to do really this audio again, so put up with it. God, you can, you can skip back. It's YouTube. Uh, yeah. Generally, the, I use about three tones for my skin. Uh, I don't like to, I don't like it that bright because if you know anything, you'll know that brighter you know the brighter colours that's what's going to stick out what most. So you've got to bear that in mind. Keep that bear in mind. And even though you're working off a photo, you can change things, as you'll see. Like this will not look, you know, like my photo did. Like the photo that I started off with. That's the photo of my friend, by the way. And I'm drawing her because you, if you look at my other videos, you'll see I draw her quite a bit. You probably won't recognise her though because she looks really different, in fact, in this one. But yeah. This is the first time I've done voice, so hello. Uh, I know I've got a English horrible voice, but put it with it because that's what you get. <laughs> uh, around here, I, I did the I did the ice purple because I thought it would be it would be kind of like a it didn't work out anyway. You'll see me change that. This is basically a really quick way to just sort of uh, it passes time. But when I say quick, I mean it doesn't take me four hours like my other drawings do. But it still takes me a good, uh, quite a bit of effort because you'll see when you when you when you convert it to 16-bit uh, bitmap, 
you'll lose a lot of the quality and a lot of the image. So you're drawing quite a bit there. And then obviously you lose you lose all the colours too. So you, you've got to go around and and sort of do that. And then this helps you pick out colours and generally learn how to draw. So I think I think it's a great way to learn. Obviously you want to get over other, other features in paint, but I do go through them at the end of the video I believe. Which is nearing now, amazingly. Jesus Christ, I've been doing it for four minutes straight. Uh, if you think my voice is annoying, you can mute this, or you can just put some other music on. I don't mind, but this video will make no sense if you do that. Oh well. I mean, if you're watching it. Um, you see here. Well, once you've sort of converted the colours, um, it's, it's all just fine tuning. Really, like. Like, like you see with the shirt, see what I did there. I, uh, it's one base colour. I, I could have made it complicated. I could have made it about four shades, but I think it, it fits in if it's just one one flat colour. I don't want it to stand out too much. I think the thing that I really wanted to stand out here was the lips. Uh, none of the eyes, the eyes even, because you can't see the other eyes. And the sunglasses. And you'll see, I think that works really well personally. Oh yeah, we've just uh, jumped into full screen mode because I paused, went to sleep and continued working on morning, so <coughs> a bit of a time lapse there. And you did miss quite a lot of the work I did, but that was just boring work and I really didn't want to record that. So it was just basically when you do this, if you do this, if, if you all try this, if you've been bothered, you'll notice that you get little specks of like purple and stuff on the arms and it takes a good a good 10 20 minutes to go through that and clear about if you want to be thorough you can't notice it zoomed out but I like to make it so if you zoom in and have a real inspection you can't really tell as you can see because I was in a rush this isn't the neatest of my work but I like to think it's pretty good oh well, we're finished uh, look at this uh, if you hold down shift while in the pencil tool or the line tool you'll get a perfectly straight line and as you can see we've demonstrated that over and over. I think I've made the point. Uh, now here I'm doing I think I'm showing you how to make your brush bigger. Control and numpad numpad uh, numpad plus and see how big that can get. Obviously bigger than the default setting is. I almost delete this half the face off there so I've brought it back to small but that's how you do that. Control and numpad plus and minus to change brush size, brush sizes and paint. Uh, now I'm going to show you the rubber thing once more because that's a crucial part of what I do. It's actually what makes this possible. Um, and you'll see me draw quite a lot of random colours. Now, if I remember rightly, it was, just, it was like I did this earlier today, and I can't really remember what I'm meant to be saying. But I think I think I'm generally meant to be saying that. Look here. Say if I wanted to get rid of the the grey in this image, I'm just going to finish drawing it if people sit talking to me another set which I told them not to because I've got an auto message but never mind yeah see this grey part say if I wanted to get rid of what colour am I getting rid of that tell the blue I think if I wanted to get rid of the blue I'd set my um, primary to blue and my secondary to black and then I'd right click with rubber tool and you see it I'm not getting rid of any of any other of the drawing or the scribble or whatever you call it but I'm still effective to get rid of that. And the orange, it works with the orange too. If you if you make the orange your first click, that's my friend coming standing on Amazon. I'm sure she won't mind, but <coughs> she's famous now for about four viewers. I know I'm not really that popular, but oh well. <laughs> Go the flow. So that's the image, image finished. That's really how to draw and stuff. And then you'll find that. Like I say, you want to start off with this. Um, I'll be doing maybe once every month, maybe once every four weeks. That is a month, sorry. Maybe once every three weeks, maybe a bit longer, depending on how busy I am or how bored I am. But I'm going to try and do more tutorials and how show you how to actually draw, other than just uh, convert a photo and then sort of modify that. But, but if you if you want to learn, if you really want to kind of get get this going. You want to start off doing this. Um, yeah. Uh, have a good day.